A couple weeks ago, a photo went viral of baseball being played in the tiny South Asian country of Bhutan. It went along with an article written for MLB.com by Michael Clare. Since then, I've taken information from that article, as well as a few WBSC articles, the Bhutan Baseball website, and the Bhutan Baseball and Softball X account, to put together this video here today. Links for all of those are in the description. Let's start with some general information about this country. Bhutan is a landlocked country in the eastern Himalayas, bordering China to the north and India to the south, near Bangladesh and Nepal. With an average elevation of 3,280 meters, it's the highest country in the world. Its population is 727,000, around the same number of people as the U.S. state of Alaska, or the city of Denver. It ranks 160th in the world in population, 133rd in land area. The median age is 24.8 years, 29 and under make up over 60% of the population. It has its own language, its own king. Buddhism is the predominant religion. Like most countries of the world, soccer is popular. And like most countries in the region, cricket is also big there. But not as big. It's more of a new thing in Bhutan. They didn't have TV in Bhutan until about 25 years ago. It was then that they got Indian cricket broadcasts, and the sport grew. The most popular sport, though, is archery. They usually play their own brand of it, differing a little from the Olympic version. Competitions are held regularly in all the villages throughout the country. There are other traditional sports too, similar to darts, shot put, horseshoe, and javelin. So children there grow up with the skills of aiming, throwing, and launching objects toward a target. And the fastest growing sport in the country is baseball. Baseball in Bhutan turned 10 years old this year, and they already claim 6,000 people play it regularly, with 2,000 registered players. As a comparison, in most European countries, which have had organized baseball for at least half a century, 1,000 active players is a pretty good number, with 2,000 being a very good number. And those are countries with millions, often tens of millions of people. Considering Bhutan's population of just 700,000, getting up to 2,000 registered players only 10 years after baseball was first introduced is simply amazing. And that number will be much higher as the sport is made available to all parts of the country. Demand for the game among the youth is everywhere, but they haven't yet been able to reach all regions of Bhutan. Getting the equipment out there, holding clinics so they know how to play the game right. They're working on it, but they have trouble keeping up with the demand. Matthew DeSantis is the chairman of the Bhutan Baseball and Softball Association. He first learned about this country when he played basketball with the Prince of Bhutan in his home state of Connecticut. DeSantis visited the country and liked it so much he decided to make it his permanent home. Karma Dorji is the president of the Bhutan Baseball and Softball Association. He first encountered baseball while attending the World Children's Baseball Fair in Japan, and he hoped he could introduce baseball to his own country. DeSantis and Dorji are credited with starting baseball in Bhutan. Unable to find an open field in this mountainous country, they got it all started on a large concrete slab. They made a few social media posts, inviting any kids who may be interested to come out and play. They probably would have been thrilled if 20 kids had shown up. Imagine their surprise when 50 to 60 of them arrived to play a sport they knew nothing about. They continued doing this every weekend, and the number of participants quickly grew into the hundreds. It wasn't long before clubs were being formed. At first there was an adult league, and they were looking into forming a national team but their attention quickly turned toward developing youth baseball, which is a much better long-term strategy toward building a strong adult national team in the future. They're introducing baseball to the schools, mostly to kids 13 and under. It's played in all the schools in the capital city of Timpu, and is slowly being introduced to all other regions of the country. A year ago, the Bhutan Baseball and Softball Association officially became a member of the Bhutan Olympic Committee after a two-year wait. The membership enables them to actively contribute to the Olympic movement and promote sports at both the grassroots and elite levels. In May of 2021, Baseball 5 was introduced to the country. In December of that same year, the country's first youth league was launched in the under-15 age category called the Bhutan Amateur Baseball League. Five schools in Timpu participated, playing a 21-game regular season. 90 students were involved, an even split of 45 male and 45 female. It was for this inaugural season that the country's first baseball field was created, converting a junior high soccer field for baseball use. The association has been busy this summer. In June, they introduced the sport to another elementary school. Last month, they borrowed another field and held a pitchers and catchers camp. A couple weeks ago were the playoffs for the amateur league. Always something going on there. And the developments are only going to speed up in the near future. The association has officially partnered with Baseball United. No, they don't get one of the original four teams, but they will have one of the original players. 
As part of the agreement, one of Bhutan's baseball players will be signed to a professional contract to play in the league's inaugural showcase in Dubai this November. We don't know who the player will be or which team he'll play on, and maybe he won't get much playing time, but the fact that they're getting their first professional player just 10 years after introducing the sport to their country is pretty amazing. What obstacles do they face? The biggest one is equipment. This is a problem in every country just getting its baseball program off the ground, but it's especially difficult in a landlocked country like this. The equipment arrives by ship, then they have to go to a port in India to pick it up, and transport it across the mountainous terrain. So as you can imagine, the cost of importing equipment is more expensive there than almost everywhere else. They still don't have a proper field. They're using converted soccer or cricket fields, and finding a flat space for it in a country with that sort of terrain is not easy. But it won't be long before baseball-specific fields are built. With the growing number of participants, the people in charge will see the need for it. Learning how to play baseball is sometimes difficult when introduced to a new country. It all depends on what sports they had there previously. It's not a problem in Bhutan. Of course there's cricket. Anyone who's played cricket usually adapts to baseball quite easily. And with traditional sports that resemble shot put, javelin, and darts, as well as archery, they're able to pick up on the necessary skills for baseball. Some might point to the country's small population as an obstacle, but it's not the number of people in the country, rather how many of them are interested in playing baseball. It's got a larger population than Curacao, Bahamas, and the Virgin Islands, all of which regularly put their players in MLB. The obvious difference is that those three are located in the Caribbean, surrounded by larger baseball powerhouses. But South Asia, as a whole, is ready to take off. We'll soon see players from Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka, and other countries from the region in the Major League system. Bhutan baseball can grow right along with the rest of the region. If you'd like to make a donation, there's a link for that in the description. You can also find it as the pinned post on their X account. I've researched about baseball in a lot of countries the last few years, and I get used to hearing about countries with only a few hundred players, only a little enthusiasm, in a crowded sports market. But Bhutan is very different. Everything is looking up there. 2,000 registered players and they haven't even introduced it to all the regions yet. And it's only been 10 years. It's going to be really exciting watching the sport grow there. Hopefully this is just the first of many times I get to talk about baseball in Bhutan on this channel. Anyway, that's all for this one, and until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya!